This video is sponsored by Sephaphonics. He's a small creator. He enjoys to make Gabler review. He may not be the best reviewer, but he's always trying hard to make reviews look good and honest. He often reviews P and I as well. It's expensive, but at least he can let his audience know does it worth it or not. He's sorry about not able to upload multiple reviews per week. Funding problem, it sucks. To support him is simple. You can subscribe and hit the bell next to it because there are 87% people who watches his review didn't subscribe. Subscribe will be the best way to support him. Furthermore, you can donate to him to support the channel. Down in the description and at the channel page, you will find two donation links. One of them will be fixed $30. One of them is any amount. You can also support him by donating to him through PayPal. Thanks for watching this ad. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos, subscribe to me or donate to me in the future. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Zenworks channel. Today, I am going to be unboxing three packages plus one small package. It's like a really small bag. But today I'm making this video because I'm bored and honestly these kind of packages they were in my house for around like 4 to 5 months so I just want to open them. So if you like to watch people unboxing things this video is perfect for you because I have free packages and I'm bored so that's why I made this video so let's go! So here's the first one right here is a small package right here. I bought this on eBay for $12. Is an action base that I plan to use on my Astray Noir because I want to I want my Astray Noir fight the Astray Blue Frame D, so that's why I got him a action base. And now as soon as I take it out, because I thought that $12 is so cheap, so that's why I bought it. And as soon as I take it out, I found out it's a bootleg. So um, I have doubts about bootleg action base because they might not hold well, but since I bought it, I thought it would be good for me to test it. So this one right here is $12, it's a bootleg action base and I'm not sure does it work or not. Okay, we got the next one right here, it's a big package, it's heavy parcel right here. So uh, let me think about how do I open this, this is all wrapped around. This is the first box and sorry for the really messy opening because this tape right here is actually really hard for me to cut through so I kind of have to violently open it so this one right here is the high new Gundam Katoki version plus the HWS um, the seller on Facebook market is selling for $270 I negotiate with him in a really nice way and I press the price down to $220 plus shipping and this one right here is the high new Gundam plus the HWS honestly I don't know did the high new Gundam and the HWS worth that much so if you're someone that know the price then you should probably tell me as well. First one right here, this is the High New Gundam Kapoki version. This one right here is a big box. They even gave you those funnel releasing effect parts. So it's pretty good. For the weapons though, Fiend Funnels, Shield, Hyper Bazooka and the Beam Rival. So it's pretty standard. And then we also have a lot of water side decals. So it's going to be a nightmare for me. I, partic I don't really like water slide decals since they are like a really easy to break and actually really annoying to put it on so that's why I don't really like water slide decals but I guess the details on this high new Gundam right here actually required, required you to put on the water slide decals to show it because I saw some of the colors they were not on the runner they were actually a water slide decal so in order to fulfill the actual finish of the high new Gundam so I think that for this review I'm gonna have to wearing gloves and then actually do the review so I can show you the water side decal without breaking them or rubbing them and then destroying them now this box right here is a small box this is a HWS expansion set right here it's around the size of a regular high grade so just like this so again there's like a lot of water side decals and I actually spoiler alert I just opened up the box and then check it for the instruction menu and the shield a lot of color from the shield is directly a big water side decal just putting it on this one right here I don't know does it worth it or not but I'm gonna have to take a look when I'm reviewing this kit right here this one right here is just around like a HG size box. Okay, so next one, we got a smaller box compared to the high new box right here. Um, so this one right here, I bought it for around uh, $150 AUD. And this one right here is just too regular release. So I'll just quickly open it.
Oh my god. Okay, so here we are. Let's just open it. Ooh. Why there's always like this kind of paper here? I want the box. Just give me the box. Oops. Okay, so let me just kind of throw these away first. Wow, that's a lot of it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, come on. Wow, now my floor is a mess. Okay, so now let's just open it. The first one right here. Why do you need so many wraps for a package? Just put like some bubble wraps or something like that. You don't need time this. Okay. <clears throat> I got it now. This one. This is the first one. This is the Silver Bullet Suppressor from the Narrative Gundam. Uh, this one right here, I bought it for $55. If my memory is correct. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to build this actually because the Silver Bullet Suppressor, the design is actually really cool and I really want to try the mechanic where the backpack can switch arms. I really want to test that myself, so that's why I bought this. And overall, the color actually looks really amazing. Okay, keep now we're gonna keep scrolling through the box, okay? So, um, um, okay, let me... Let me get this out, so last one, the bottom one, what's this? Bottom one, whoops. Okay, so let me get it out. So let me take away the box first. Okay, so this one right here is the MG Build Strike right here. So I remember one of my audience asked for a MG Build Strike review. Here you go. This is why I bought the Build Strike because you want to see the review, so that's why I bought it. This one right here, I bought it for around Ninety dollars, ninety dollars, ninety-seven. I don't remember, but anyway, it's still a pretty cool design. Um, I thought some of you would like to see the Universal Booster review as well, but unfortunately, I've been trying to search it on eBay about the Universal Booster, and it's literally selling two hundred dollars AUD plus and random amount of shipping. And I tried to search it on my local store about the Universal Booster and I was unable to find it. So the Universal Booster, I might just not buy it, but I really want to say something about this build strike right here. Is fighting the Saku amazing right here? But yet Bandai still reviews to release a Master Grade Saku Amazing. That just, that just strike disappointment. I really want a Saku Amazing MG as well. But anyway, this is the build strike and I'm also not getting the universal booster unless my local store sell it. I actually found something pretty interesting. From that package, they gave me hand sanitizer right here. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly try as well. So let's just put this out. And then uh, we're just gonna randomly rub it because I'm at my house anyway. So we're just gonna quickly rub it and uh, keep washing your hands guys. It's actually not as bad as I thought, it's just the alcohol smell right here. It's not as bad as I thought, because some hand sanitizer, they smell terrible. This one right here, I think it's fine. This is the last one right here. This package, I bought it from Baiyi. The whole bill of this package right here is $200. 200, wait, actually, um, let me calculate. It's around $350 for the whole package, but the shipping is $240 because Bai don't sponsor me uh, right now because EMS in Japan, EMS in Japan actually stopped. The only option that you can ship your package from Bai now is either C mail or DHL. But if your package is like oversized like myself, you cannot do C mails. You only can do DHL. DHL is really expensive. It's around two times the price of the EMS. So anyway, I just do it for the content, so that's why I need, I still need it. I actually bought these kind of Gunpla models for around two months, and they still don't want to sponsor me, so I just pull out my own wallet and then just ship it to my house by myself. Yeah, that's really good. Now I'm broken again. Because you know, I really care about content, so make sure you subscribe. But anyway, we are just gonna open this. Well, how am I gonna start this? I actually really don't know. How am I gonna start this? So, uh... oh my God, I'm bad at opening packages. How many tape did you guys use? How much tape do you guys use? Like seriously, you don't need that much tapes. 
Wow, you don't need that much tapes. You know what? I'm just gonna come back later because this one right here is gonna take a long time to unbox. So I'll just skip to the part that I unbox it. I just want you to see like how many bubble wraps did they just wrap together? Like seriously, wow. You guys wrap too much bubble wraps. Wow. These kinds of bubble wraps is gonna take a long time to unwrap it. So I'm just gonna skip to the part where I actually unwrapped it. So this is the first one right here. This is the Gundam Gemini Zero One. Yes, I actually bought it, but I just never ship it to my house because buy reviews to sponsor me. So that's why I hesitated. Should I spend that much money to, you know, get the DHL to send it to my house? And I finally decided yes. And actually the Assault and the High Mobility Pack is coming out at October or September. I don't remember, but um, I would still bought those expansion packs as well. But right now I got the Gemini Zero One right here. Surprisingly for P Bandai, they decided to use like a regular release. Um, what's that called? Regular release box art right here. So I'm just going to cut the bubble wrap open and I'm going to take a look at this. So I got it. I got it. Let's take a look at it. This one right here is the Gundam Geminis. Zero one. Wow, the box is actually really clean. You can see a poor Leo, a poor Leo at the background get stabbed. Wow. Uh, this pose right here, they can be better, but this pose is just a little bit boring, but the box art is still acceptable. At least it's not like those plain color boring things like this. So this one right here features open hand and then gimmicks. And then you got beam swords accelerate rival g units shield i wonder when will they release the zero two version because you know if in case you don't know the geminis is that how you pronounce it the geminis they actually have two units uh the unit one is white the unit two is dark blue from my memory i think i used to have the very old version of the geminis but it broke so that's why i refused to fix it so uh, this one right here is going to be a lot of fun because this one right here is a revive version. The next one right here is the Gundam G04. I already took it out of the bubble wrap because the bubble wrap is just too heavy and it's, it's very hard for me to cut through. So this one right here is the Gundam G04. The G04 you can recreate from the normal G04 version or the BST version. And I'll definitely make a review about it. This G04 right here, I wish I can do it earlier, but sorry, as I said, uh, my, you don't sponsor my shipping, so which was why. Uh, it took me a long time to ship it to my house. Sorry about that. And this one right here, I just checked the parts inside. Seems like a lot of stickers have been used compared to the G06 or the Gemini Steel 1 that I just opened. I don't think that the G04 is going to have a good color separation. So if you're someone who reviews to use stickers, I think you're going to have to take a lot of work to make this gamba look good because I saw some big stickers inside. In case you don't believe me, I'll just take it out right now and let you see it. You see it right here. The stickers right here actually is a big stickers. Um, so it's going to be a problem, I think. But anything related to this gamba, I'll just leave it to the review because right now if I spoil everything, it's not going to be fun. I remember at one of my review, one of my audience asked me, can I buy like the... Uh, that's Ipel Premium Bandai version. I don't know how to pronounce the unit name, but you know, I bought this Gampla purely because of your comment because you want you want me to make a review about this Gampla, so that's why I bought it. Sorry about the late, sorry about the delayed, but I still got it. So this one right here, I bought it from Yahoo Auction. It was around $91 AUD, but the shipping, as I said, the shipping is around $240 already, so it's not worth it. <laughs> So eBay, on eBay now, if you want to pick this up, is around $150 to $170 plus shipping. So you're looking for around $200, I would say. Optimistically, you can still get it for $160, but somewhere around $200, including the shipping. The last one is the Gundam Curios. Remember uh, to that audience, you want to see a Curios review and then you comment it down on my videos. So that's why I bought this. I bought Gun Plus just because you want to see it. So this one right here is the Curios, but I felt so stupid to buy it on eBay because my local, one of my local stores is the Gundam Express. They were selling it for $103 with 
free shipping. So that is why I felt so stupid. Why do I have to buy this thing on the like Baiyi? Sorry, not eBay. Baiyi. Why do I have to buy this thing on Baiyi? I don't. I really don't know. I'm like I'm just so stupid. I don't even want to talk about how stupid I am. I just want to punch my face right now. But first, let's just unwrap this thing. Yep, just one cut. That will be it. Take it out. You can see it. This one right here is the Curios right here. Wow, the box art looks amazing. I gotta say that. Uh, I'm still getting the Denimus, but the Denimus to buy it in Australia is actually really expensive. It's around like $110. So it's really expensive for the Denimus. And next year, I don't want to buy the Bandai version because I, I just heard too much negative, negative comments about the Bandai version next year. And I'm planning to buy the Deban version at Levanchi next year. So if you want to see the Deban version, just comment down below and tell me should I get the Deban version? Because uh, the Deban version uh, right now they still have around how many? This, they still have seven of them in stock. So if you want to see the Deban at Levanchi next year review, just comment down below and tell me. And also, I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last Gampa. So. I would just say it like this, comment down below which review you want to see first. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also comment down below which review you want to see first and also should I buy the Deban version of the x share. So uh, this will be the end of it. Thank you guys for watching this and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.